Okay guys, so uh, this is Digo, and I promised I was going to talk a little bit about it. Uh, Digo is a uh, social bookmarking tool, and it is an extension of my brain, really. <laughs> um, okay, so um, what I do is that I, I use this tool to save all the articles I come across online. That's what I use it for, and what's interesting is that I can have access to uh, Digo from anywhere. So. Um, uh, that's why I like it. Um, one way to save articles easily um, using Digo is by adding this Google Chrome ex uh, extension, which is right here. Um, I'm going to show you how to use it in a minute. But first, I want to show you my library. So I'm going to click there and uh, I'm going to click on my library. And uh, what you're going to find here is the following on the uh, on the right you're gonna find the date you saved the article and you can see all the articles here in the middle uh, I'm gonna click here on tags and you're gonna see uh, from A to Z all the articles I have saved so far there are a lot of them I'm gonna click here on D so uh, I'm gonna show you what the tag is all about so if I click for example disability awareness under this tag, I'm going to find all the articles I saved from an online course I attended last year about disability. Um, so that's what I use. It, uh, that's what I use um, Digo for. You can also use outliners, and that's going to help you organize your uh, the information and thoughts um, from all the things that you've got here in Digo. Uh, you can uh, you can also create groups or or join groups it's interesting for example if you're doing research and there is a group of students you can create a group here to contribute and add uh, all the different articles you've come across for your research um, what else well here in tools you're gonna find the extension to um, make things easier for you and find uh, and sa sorry and save artic articles easily I'm going to click here on this um, article from passive to active preservation of electronic rec uh, records and um, what I'm going to do is to save it so it's very easy I click here on the Digo button or Google Chrome extension and um, I click here on save bookmark and since since this is research and it's a tag that I have already created, I'm going to type the following. So it's here. I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to save it. If I have to to make sure that I have saved the article, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to click here on all and then here. And I'm going to go to research. Okay, I have to choose the tag here. And it is right here, see, from active to passive, etc. So uh, that's what I use Digo for, um, guys. I hope um, this tutorial has been useful for you. Bye, guys.